This is the video number 4 of the course of conservation framing carried out by Rinaldi. The course is edited and presented by Mal Reynolds, who is a recognized authority in this field. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate several ways of supporting artwork without the use of adhesives. And this would apply mainly to photographs where we don't want any adhesives touching any of the photographic material. Whilst we have many different mounting corners and we have mounting strips available to us, I am going to actually show you how to make your own from paper. So first of all we need a pH neutral paper and you can see that I've got a strip here in front of me the strip is 10 millimeters wide and I have marked on that strip 50 millimeter points and their half points and from this I am going to make a number of corner mounts so I take the strip with the scissors I cut them into the individual strips themselves Remember we only want four corner points, so I'm only going to cut four. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take one of these and I've marked the centre very carefully and I'm just going to bend it over and then bend it over in the opposite direction like that and then I'm going to crease it with my bone there is our corner pocket so once I've got four of these corner pockets sorted out what I need to do is I need to place them on a piece of board to support the artwork. So there's my board and there is the artwork that I'm going to place on the board. So initially what I'm going to do is just put a pencil mark at the corner where I need to position the actual corner pockets themselves. So I've got four corner pockets marked. Then I'm going to take my new pH neutral glue and I'm going to put some onto a piece of waste mount board. I've got a paintbrush and taking my first corner pocket I'm just going to coat it with glue. All I need to do now I position the corner on that first dot and lay the corner pocket on. I take the second corner pocket and again put some of the glue onto the corner pocket itself into the rear of it. I then need to place it on the, on the point marked on the board and then glue it down. And eventually what I do, I will end up with all my four corners positioned. It is easy then to take the artwork, slide it into those corner pockets and into the top corner pockets and there I have my artwork supported without the use of adhesives using corner pockets. On occasions when the artwork is heavy, I will actually use two corners pockets at the top and I make a little tray along the bottom to support the artwork along the whole length of its bottom. So how do I make that little tray? I take a piece of uh, paper, I've marked this and it is, I'm going to cut a strip 15 millimetres wide. What I'm going to do then, to ease the creasing of that, I am going to actually put a score mark 
using my bow down the centre. And what that does, it makes it very easy now for me to bend it. What I do then is I place it in the position that I required and then take the ends down and that is my corner pocket supporting the bottom of the artwork. In case this situation I have the artwork placed in the bottom strip and then I simply drop the artwork into the upper pockets and that is the artwork supporting. You will find all the products for conservation framing in our website.